This lesson is on placing fractions on a number line. If you haven't already watched the video on ordering fractions from least to greatest, please stop and do that before you watch this video because one step leads to the other. Okay, on a basic number line, they'll start with one whole number and go to the next whole number. So we have to figure out where these fractions would fall on this number line. First thing that we need to look at are are our denominators the same? And in this case, all three fractions have the same denominator of 6, so we don't need to change anything. Next thing that we need to do is place one whole as a fraction. So if we have one whole and we need it to have the same denominator of 6, we need to figure out what one whole would be as a fraction with a denominator of 6. Well, students should know by now that one whole is equal to 6 6. So now that we have our place marker of 6, 6, and 0, we can figure out where to place these three fractions. Well, 5, 6 would fall before 6, 6. So we can place that on the number line. 2, 6 falls closer to 0, so we can place that on the number line. And 4, 6 comes between 2, 6 and 5, 6, so we can place that on the number line pretty easy. Let's move to the next one. For this example, when we look at our denominators, they are all three different. So we need to find a least common denominator to work and put our numbers on the our fractions on the number line. First one that we're going to write multiples for are 2. 2 4 6. The next one, 3. 3 6. For 6, 6. Now we can find our least common denominator is 6. Now we need to make our equivalent fractions and that's what we'll put on our number line. Well now they have the new last name, the new denominator of 6. To find our numerator, we divide in the basement and multiply in the attic. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So now we have our new sets of fractions, our new equivalents. Now, for one whole, again, we need it to have the same last name as all the other fractions. We need it to have the last name of 6. Well, 6, 6 is equal to one whole. So now that we know this, we can place these three fractions on our number line. We're going to look at the new fractions, but write the old fractions. So for 3, 6, we know that 3 is half of 6, so it should come somewhere in the middle. 3, 6. Now on the top, we're going to write our old fraction, 1 half. For 4, 6, it's going to come after 3, 6, so we write it at the bottom, put our old fraction at the top, 2 thirds. Now for 1, 6, it's going to come closer to 0, but before 3 6, so we're going to put it here on our number line, 1 6, and put the old fraction at the top. So now we have our new fractions at the bottom and our original fractions at the top, and we can tell where they should all fall on the number line. Now let's look at another example that gets just a little bit harder. Okay. For this example, first thing that we need to ask ourselves, are our denominators the same? In this case, we're not. So we write our multiples for 3 first. 3, 6, 9, 12. Then write multiples for 2. 2, 4, 6, 8. Then write multiples for 6. 6, 12, 18. Our least common denominator, or our least common multiple, is 6. So now we have our new last name of 6. So now we need to make our equivalent fractions with 6 as their common denominator. Divide in the basement and multiply in the attic to fill in the numerators. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times 10 is 10. So now we have our new sets to work with. Next thing that we need to do is fill in our whole numbers as fractions. Now in this case, it's not just 0 to 1 anymore, it's 1 to 2 as well. 
So we need to make one and two fractions. Now we need our last name or our denominator to be six. So for one whole, we need to know that one whole is equal to six sixths. Now for two wholes, if one whole is six sixths, we need to double our numerator to twelve and keep the last name, six. Students should know that twelve divided by six is two, so this checks out. Six sixths, twelve sixths. Double the numerator and then divide to check. Now that we have our marking points, 6, 6, and 12, 6, we can place these three new fractions on our number line. The first one is 10 6. 10 will come after 6 and before 12, so it will come somewhere around the middle. 10 6. Now that's our new fraction. Our old fraction was 5 thirds, so we need to write that at the top. Now for this one, 1 half and 3 6. 3 6 is less than 6 6. So it will come right in the middle, 3 6, 1 half will go on the top. For our last one, 10 6, well we already have that on there, so we can write it again, 10 6, and 10 6 would be up at the top as well. So now we have placed all three of these fractions on our number line.